And we've got two of those hardworking, dedicated people with us right now. Tara Henry Madden and her sister Rachel Pfeiffer. They are two of the farmers featured on Harvest, and they are fourth generation farmers at Henry Farms in Connorsville, Indiana. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving to you. All right, my first question is for Tara. Farmers and ranchers play an integral role in our society, and the job goes beyond putting food on your table, on our table. What is the one thing about farming that you hope families across the U.S. will realize this Thanksgiving? I'm sorry, I didn't hear, catch your question. My question is, what is it that you hope that Americans will learn about farming that they might not know? I think that, that farming is such a rich tradition within families, and it's so important to those families. Um, we, we love what we do, and we love being able to share um, and give back to the, the people um, through feeding the people and working with animals. So I think that just we love giving back and that we are hardworking. Like Cameron said, we're just regular people uh, making a living, but also doing a job that helps so many others. And Rachel, it looks like you are out on the farm right now. Uh, you produce corn. So what does a typical day for farmers like you and your sister look like? Well, um, so when you have livestock, you get up and you go and you check your livestock and you feed them. And then, um, you know, uh, if they need that you feed to be ground or hay to be taken to the fields um, for the cattle. And then, you know, during harvest season, um, that's a whole lot different. So, um, the day doesn't really end. Um, it just keeps going. So you're, you know, out in the fields um, late at night, working all hours, going over, checking the grain bins. Um, it's kind of relentless, but you know, we, we love it. And so it's, um, it's a labor of love for sure. Well, Tara, these are some challenging economic times for a lot of folks. And I wonder how things like inflation, the pandemic, supply chain issues, how do they impact farming specifically? They have all impacted farming um, from the cost of our inputs, whether it be seed or fertilizer um, to the diesel fuel that runs the tractors to just the cost of the equipment and the maintenance of the equipment. And, and then, like you said, the supply fertilizer was in short supply this year. So all of those things have really impacted the farming industry. And, and I think we're seeing um, small farms especially being hit a little harder by those things because of those rising costs. But then on the flip side of that, we're not seeing the returns. Um, anytime you involve a middleman, they're going to take their cut. And so I think we're seeing um, some hard times there as well. Well, Rachel, you and your sister are fourth generation farmers. And I feel like we've been hearing all for a long time, for decades, about how hard it is to get that next generation into farming. A lot of folks are saying, you know, this isn't a life I want to live. So why is it so important for you and your family to keep the Henry Farms legacy going and to keep the generations going into farming? Well, I think just, you know, it's just in our blood. It's just who we are. Um, this that you see behind me, this is where my husband and I live. Um, it's where my dad grew up. It's, you know, it's this is behind me is grandma's house. And so, um, you know, it's been in our family for so many years and you're so invested in it. And it just means so much to you, um, which you don't get with corporate farming. You know, you don't get that heartfelt investment to your family and to the land um, since it's been in your family for years and generations. And you you want so badly to see it succeed that you're going to work so hard to make that happen. And you see, you know, Tara and I have, have seen our parents work so hard um, through the years, um, through the hard years and, and just um, keeping it going. And so that's just really instilled um, this you know this mindset of just just do it nothing is impossible just just get it done all right well that is tara henry madden and rachel pfeiffer they are sisters they're also fourth generation farmers you can see them tonight in harvest a news nation documentary about the american farmer and the challenges they face it debuts tonight right here at 8 7 central thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.